What is incompetence? There's a legal definition. A lack of legal ability to do something, especially testify or stand trial. You have to know what actually happened and know the difference between right and wrong. This definition doesn't suit the workplace very well. Most people in the labor force meet the legal definition. There's a military definition of competence. It's demonstrated ability to successfully perform their duties and accomplish the mission with discipline and to standard. So it implies a clearly defined mission, a clear understanding of whether or not you've done it, and it doesn't take into consideration changes in conditions. Incompetence must be the opposite of all that. You can't fulfill your mission. There are peacetime leaders versus wartime leaders. And here is the patron saint, George McClellan. The ability under one set of circumstances doesn't necessarily translate to ability under a different set of circumstances. There's an organizational definition of incompetence. Lack of the ability, skill, or knowledge that's needed to do a job or perform an action correctly or to a satisfactory standard. It implies that you know what satisfactory is, that is a clearly defined standard. And it's also conditionally dependent. Competence in one situation doesn't assure competence if something changes. This is Frederick W. Taylor. He says, break the job down into components. Simplify. Even an idiot could do it and understand whether or not they've done it properly. But that's soul draining because not everybody's an idiot. This is the Dunning-Kruger effect. It's the ability to correctly self-assess your own competence. Competence is defined as success on, on a particular test at school. So here's your predicted score, and here's your actual score. The people down here are incompetent. Their predicted was greater than their actual. And the people here are competent. Actually is greater than predicted. In this case, there's a clearly defined outcome, and it's clearly understood if you have that set of abilities. In the real world, things are not often that clear. Job duties and or mission aren't clearly defined. It's not clearly understood what abilities are available. It's not always clear when someone is incompetent. Skill, personality fit, and clear definition of the job are important elements of competence. The world is full of chaos. Competence at one time period might be incompetence when a different set of skills is needed.